This is a piece of maple that I'm working on. I wanted to show you the difference between the raw wood and when I add the tongue oil on it. So this is the raw wood right now. And this one will require a lot of inlay. This also has a little bit of spalting going on in it. And the spalting is over here, you see here, and up over here, there's some of it as well. And these are the natural streaks through the wood, but uh, very cool patterning. And uh, again, lots of inlay and stone work on this one. But it's a beautiful piece of wood, very unique. And I will show you next what it looks like with tongue oil. Here's the same piece now with tongue oil on it. And the shiny glow is from the shop light, so just ignore that. But this is, again, is some maple, and it has some spalting in it as well. About four inches thick. And down here is where a branch came out. You can tell right there. Now, this light, twisty... Um, streaks here, that's called chatoyancy. And scientists aren't really sure exactly what causes that, but it's, it's a very cool effect. The twisting is caused by the fibers in the wood when it's growing, they twist around and it gives you that little kind of streakiness, but just some incredible patterning in this. Lots of voids. Uh, I haven't really figured out exactly what I'm going to um, use in the way of stone and inlay in this one. But uh, this will make either a small coffee table um, or uh, an accent table. And this is a finished piece. It has six coats of tongue oil on it, and the green is malachite in there. Then you see the chatoyancy here, kind of looks like the twists there. Just a beautiful piece of wood. There is some more malachite along the edge, and then some copper placed in there, more malachite. And this was a tricky one, a couple of big voids with malachite in them. And you can see there's a little malachite in other places and then some copper in through there. This one took quite a while to put together. A beautiful piece, maple, and contact me if you're interested.